Okay, tutorial 10. Uh, this tutorial uh, show you how to use Lua since uh, version 1.2 all <coughs> the OpenGL, OpenAL and SIO2 API are available uh, from the scripting language. So I'm briefly going to introduce you how to link uh, script to your objects, okay, and how to work uh, with Lua in general. So I'm going to launch Blender. This tutorial will be quick, okay. So it's just an overall view of uh, how to use it. I'm going to delete that lamp and I'm going to create a plane. And I scale with S, okay. And I'm simply going to use, okay, the default, this default scene, like pretty simple. I'm going to resize my workspace, go search my UV image editor, and I'm going to add a texture to my cube image load and I'm going to go search an image that I have somewhere on my desktop okay uh, which one should be good whatever uh, stone wall nice okay and unwrap no actually stone wall I got it better than that I got like what is that one? Texture map. Okay, go we'll search texture map. This one's good. Okay. <coughs> and I'm gonna link I'm gonna link it to my cube here. Just take a quick preview. Okay. And I'm going to add like some vertex color <coughs> for <coughs> my plane. Okay, a little bit gray like here. Okay. To show that something happened, and now the the interesting part. I'm going to link. I'm going to link uh, script directly to these uh, two objects. So I'm going to go in scripting, and I'm going to just resize my viewport here to have two like scripting. And on one, I will go search my exporter. Pretty small. Where the hell am I? Oh, okay. Exporter. Nice. And I'm going to launch it. And I'm going to resize here. And here on this uh, window, I'm going to go search some Lua script that I already prepared for the occasion. So plane.lua for my plane here. And I'm going to go search cube dot lua here okay so basically the way I'm like suggesting you to use it is to use it like this way so you have you know like you can edit your lua script directly from a blender do the necessary modification and after that you know you can just update like uh, your scene or something so for this one, I'm going to go search now how to link, okay, my plane.lua or cube.lua with uh, my scene here. Basically, okay, Blender is using Python to do that, which, so I'm using basically exactly the same approach, okay, uh, in SIO2 to link using Blender uh, these two scripts. So I'm going to go search and click, make sure that my plane is selected, and in this here script I will simply go select objects and then new and go search my plane.lua by default I'm using the frame changed okay so every script linked here that have uh, that are on frame changed will be uh, exported as well so I'm going to do the same thing for my cube that is here new and cube I'm going to select everything oh first like make sure that my camera is Looking at a decent angle, I'm putting, I'm pushing Shift and F to be able to resize it. Okay, to actually position it, not resize it. Okay, something like whoa, it's getting fast. Okay, something like that. Select everything. I'm going to modify my scene name to be Tutorial O. Uh, no, ten. There you go. Then I'm going to go modify my output path to be inside my SDK data select all good okay 
select everything and export. I'm going to go back in my to my Xcode project and I'm going to link tutorial 10 inside my resource, nothing new here. Just want to uh, pay, make you pay attention that here we got a config.lua that I've been also added in the resource the same way in the same fashion that we add a tutorial 10. So simply drag and drop it and automatically this will be uh, available. For more information you can always uh, check the code. Also, now basically inside if I check here my tutorial 10 I would see that in script directory I got these uh, two script. Okay, In the package that I would send you that you will receive with the SDK I will only give you, you know, like the .sio2 so simply rename it to a zip file uncompressed and I really suggest you to go inside the script directory and you know like read you know like the comments and check the code okay and make sure you understand every pieces of it okay uh, just to give you like a like every tutorial okay I give you you know like 10 25 percent of the material and you you know should go and you should drive it you know like further to a hundred uh, percent so I'm gonna have a first test run here run oh Sorry about that. I'll just start compiling. Anyway, uh, this okay. You can see from you know during in the meantime that it's compiling. Okay, basically uh, everything that you will see okay uh, will be uh, dy dynamically okay uh, handle with uh, Lua. Okay, we can see here that we got our camera that orbit. This is also. Uh, done in Lua we got also here we are accessing okay the OpenGL texture matrix in order to do a simple translation you know like on the texture and this is all done by Lua basically the code that it's running okay inside the uh, Xcode is just to put the scene together and render you know like basically the camera okay all the rest is handled a hundred percent in Lua and here also like the blue background it's done in Lua accessing the OpenGL API directly and uh, you can see like the result in real time. If we check the console here, I'm also doing like some print, okay, that is done also by Lua, okay, everything is done dynamically. So basically this thing, this uh, approach gives you access to do whatever you want, okay, uh, directly uh, from Lua without having to pass, you know, like directly in code. So for game, it's 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 really the best. Instead of recompiling like your whole game, you can just like modify a script, modify some variables, some value in your script, push the play button, and automatically everything will be adjusted accordingly. Lua, it's extremely small, portable, and fast also. Okay, so I would definitely suggest you to read the code, not only like the uh, Objective C C code, okay, that is used here, but uh, also like the script that the dot lua that are uh, bundled within uh, this tutorial so that's basically it